So you want to know if there's any other tools to help you with your normals? Not a problem. May I introduce you to Abnormal? This add-on was recommended to me by Ruki. You can download it from the description. You'll get a zip file. Once you have it, all you gotta do is open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, find the zip you just downloaded, click it, type in the name up here, and make sure that it's on. Now, from here, if you select an object and press N, you'll see Abnormal appear on the right. Just click Start. Okay, you can read all the controls here if you want, but the most important ones are C to circle select new vertices, hold Control to remove a selection, and hold Shift to add new selections. You can also press B to box select to do all the same things with Control and Shift. A selects everything, Alt A removes everything, and once you've got something selected, press R to rotate. X-Ray just lets you see points behind other objects, and when you select things, you'll see a rotation gizmo appear. Like R, clicking and dragging it is what allows you to rotate the normals in whatever direction you want. And one really cool thing that you can do is hide the wireframe. So you can see exactly what you're doing much easier. You can change the size of your vertices with this, and how bright the controllers are with this. As usual, you can determine how long the controllers are here. And if you only want to see the controllers for the selected normals, you can do that by checking here. I usually leave scaling up on, and down here you can adjust how big the entire menu is like this. If you hover your mouse close, instead of the gizmo, you can also just manually rotate the selection by increments here. And you can increment rotations by 1 degree, 5 degree, degrees or 10 degrees. Now if you don't like your changes you want to cancel everything you did, all you gotta do is just go to Reset Vectors. Keep in mind this is not the same as Blender's Reset Vector. When you do it in Blender, it reverts all the normals to their photorealistic setting. But when you reset in Abnormal, it resets everything to whatever it was before you opened Abnormal. Under Direction you can flip the normals, make them face outwards, or make them face towards the inside of the model. You can also assign them by faces. Under Alignment, you can brute force them to face a cardinal direction like left, up, down, forwards, and backwards. Flatten just means you lock the normals on a single axis. So if you press X, they'll all aim forward, but keep their old rotation from the side view. If you flatten the Y axis, they'll all be horizontal from the side view, but they'll keep the rotations from the top view. And if you flatten in the Z, they'll be flat on the top, but keep all their old directions from the front. If you want to mirror your changes, you can do that with this. And of course, you can also do it with Y and Z. If you want to mirror your changes in real time, instead of using this, you can turn on one of these. So for example, if you want to constantly mirror your work in the X direction, just make sure this button is checked. You can disable the rotation gizmo with this, average all selected, gets all of your selected points, finds the average, and sets them all to that average. Smoothen is the same as Blender's normal smooth vector, the difference is you have a little more control. You can change the strength directly, but generally I leave it at default, and if I want to smooth harder each click, I bump up iterations to something like 10. If you hold shift and right click, you can select the main point to focus on, and if you click here, it will copy the vector from that main point to all other selected points. You can also store direction from the selected point and paste it in other vectors later like this. And finally, you can use this button to make all the normals behave as if they were a sphere or a circle. Or if you wanted to control the direction manually, you can use the point function. And then press G to move the vectors towards a direction manually like this. And you're done. That should take care of just about everything you need to edit your normals like a pro. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.